vision Hello and welcome to the Hipster Show. You are here with your host Dennis Sisko. On today's agenda, clowns terrorizing the world and of course the dramatic US election. Let's welcome our first guest, a professional and former clown expert. Make a warm welcome for Jay. Well, that's one of my old clown tricks. Whoa, quite impressive. Let's welcome Carl and Jeremy as well. Today's hipsters from the street. And hello Jeremy. Hello. The first subject that we are so excited to talk about is of course the American election. In the studios, as of right now, we have three people with different views on the election. But before we engage the fearsome discussion, let's show a video of Trump and Hillary's battle for president. No, you're telling the enemy everything you want to do. No, we're not. See, you're no, telling the not. enemy everything we you are. want to do. We no wonder you've fighting. been fighting. No wonder you've been fighting ISIS your Folks. entire adult life. Well, that was quite interesting, James. You will vote for Hillary, right? That's correct, Dennis. And may I ask you why? Well, the answer is quite simple. Donald Trump is a xenophobic, sexist man who's not prepared or suited for the role of presidency. His opinions are horrifying this dream. Besides that, his way of getting influence amongst people has been very <laughs> Whoa, damn, James, I think, you, I think you triggered someone in the audience. Well, I think I will have to stop you there. Um, over to Cole. I know you're voting for Trump, which is strange for a uh, hipster. But what's the reason for you to vote for a man that's, according to a former clown, horrifyingly extreme? China, ISIS, and grab her by Say what? He, he will defeat ISIS. You have to come with more concrete examples, I think. Okay, well, the, with the increasing amount of immigrants, the only durable solution is building a wall. Besides, Hillary Clinton, is so stupid that it would be completely impossible to know what she would do in the White House. Besides, she's a woman for Christ. How dare you! How dare you! Disgusting! That's interesting, Cole. Uh, so, Jeremy, you are not voting for either Hillary or Trump. Are you not going to vote for them? Or what's your plan? I am voting, but, but I'm not voting for Hillary or Trump. The problem with them is that the best reason to vote for Hillary is that Trump is bad. And the best uh, reason to vote for Trump is that Hillary is bad. And therefore, I'm not voting for any of them. Uh, I will vote for a third party candidate, or maybe even a protest vote. Uh, and the problem is that there is no coverage, the media coverage, for the third party candidate, so no one even knows they exist. Well, what if you don't like the third party candidates either? Well, then you'd have to do a protest vote to show your discontent with the candidates. But if you aren't voting, you're not contributing to the development of this country. Well, you are voting. Your vote is that none of the candidates are fit to be president. And really, to be honest, they aren't. All right, folks, let's agree to disagree then. Uh, let's get deeper into the subject. Um, so, Carl, do you really think it's possible to build a wall on the border of Mexico? Possible? Donald will build a wall, and Mexico will pay for it. Donald will make Mexico pay for it because Mexico have been earning money from drug tr trades over the border. This is simply a payback. So you expect the Mexican drug lords to pay for it? Because the, uh, the ones earning money from these drug trades are not the Mexican government, but these rich and powerful people with lots of criminals hired. And you say that you want Mexico to pay with the money they've earned, uh, when in fact they haven't been earning anything. Yeah, that's absurd. You can't force Mexico to pay for the wall. That, that's unreasonable and that costs are way too high. Also, there are a lot of people in Mexico that need our help. Hillary wants to, open the, wants to open the border so that the US can help these people so that they can live a better life. What you don't see is that Donald Trump is very persuasive. He will build the wall and Mexico will pay for it. Whoa, this hipster over here is lit. 
Well, all right, my boys. Let's move on. James, what is your opinion on the latest controversies about Hillary's health? Well, I simply believe that she will be able to run for presidency despite uh, the illness that she suffers. She has access to the best health care in the world, the American health care. God bless the USA! But she isn't fit to run for president. She's ill and cannot take care of herself. Taking care of a country like America requires all of your time and she simply cannot put that into it. Your Trump voters need to chill down. Vote for Hillary. Bro, she's guilty. Whoa, James, that's a harsh statement. <laughs> well, well, the time is up. Uh, let's move on to the next subject on our agenda. A new trend has appeared throughout the world and even in our country, Sweden. This trend involves dressing up as a clown and running around the street in order to scare people. However, this joke has escalated too much and resulted in several cases of assaults. Just take a look at this video. truly horrified. Uh, so what are your opinions on this guys? Um, why do you think this is happening? What I wonder is why have these clowns gone viral right just now? Uh, I mean there's a prank channel on YouTube called DM Prank Productions and uh, that's been doing this for several years and the fact that it goes viral now, oh, well, it's quite unoriginal and actually it's quite sad. But we can't just forbid clowns from existing, can we? These pranks are a tasteless form of humor and destroying the careers of real cl clowns. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I actually agree with this Trump voting lunatic. As a former clown that lost my job to these little pranks, I'm furious. These pranksters are turning us homeless. What was once seen as a friendly little joke turned quite hostile. This led people being afraid going to the circus, thus increasing the unemployment amongst clowns. Unemployment and hostility amongst clowns are rising, rising faster than ever. Why isn't Tr Hillary and Trump debating this? Yeah, you're, you're right. Kind of. Uh, but seriously, they're scaring a lot of children and they're, being, uh, they're getting afraid to go alone or go out to school. It's horrifying. People have been stabbed during these attacks. The fact is that this clown thing needs to be put down immediately. And I mean with laws and police enforcement. But you can't just put down an entire movement of clowns. They've been a part of our history for a really long time. Everything from a jester to a fool. We can't just erase that from our society. Clown lives matter! But it's unreasonable for us to simply allow people to run around and scare people and even hurt them. Uh, besides, there are some theories that on the 31st of October, there will be a clown rampage where the clowns have planned some sort of organized attack. Just saying. Well, uh, guys, we're running out of time here. Who cares, Dennis? Anyways, I would want to make sure that people knew the difference between a killer clown and a friendly clown. I would take distance from those who believe it's funny to scare people out of their minds and even hurting them. That's why I've started a movement called Clown Lives Matter. By supporting this movement, you support people like me, who lost their jobs because of these tasteless pranks. And if you want to help the movement, call 202-555-0195 right down here. There you'll be able to donate and money to our cause. Hey James, uh, this isn't a commercial show. Security! Oh, shit.
<laughs> Strong opinions from our guest today. Uh, that marks the end of today's show, lads. Uh, thank you. Uh, please join us next week on the Hipster Show, where we will talk about veganism, feminazis, and the environment. Tune in then. See ya! Yeah.